Good morning traders. I would like to share my trades with you guys today. So I traded two stocks, uh, low and T. I was not able to make my recap yesterday because I was very tired yesterday. I only traded one stock, one and done, and, and I went straight to bed. I only traded for maybe 25-30 minutes. I took a screenshot of that trade and I went straight to bed. So I post my trades on Twitter if, I, if I'm not able to make a recap. And even if I make a recap, I post all my trades on Twitter. So if you see, I traded Twitter yesterday, opening range breakdown, and I covered all the way down here. As soon as I covered, I took a screenshot and I went to bed. I slept for the night. See, so people ask me that how can I function at my job and trading at night by only sleeping three hours on weekdays? Simple answer, like double espresso. So I was at work at 7 a.m. in the morning again. So I just had two coffees, three coffees. That's how I function. So coming to my trades for the day, uh, my trade on, so coming to my loser trade. So low was making all time high. And if you look at the five minutes chart, I was thinking of taking it long above VWAP, but because it made this huge wake on the five, I decided to wait, uh, wait a bit longer. And then it made higher highs on the, and higher lows on the five. That's why I went long. If you look at the one now, I went long here with the stop loss below the break of the pre-market high and I got stopped out. Then I removed low from my watch list because even though low is making all time high, it's not finding a clear pattern, like not enough buyers are interested in the stock. And the five minutes, it's not very clear. If you look at the five minutes, this looks like a bearish uh, bearish signal for me. And then it's making higher highs, then it make a, made a lower low. So this is chop, chop chopping around VWAP. Uh, coming to my winning trades, so winning trades, my winning trades were on T. I was fortunate enough to catch T both on the long and the short side. So coming to my long trade, uh, T was gapping down on the daily around two three percent, but this was a short squeeze trade. So people are think uh, people are thinking of taking it short below VWAP. Many people have taken it short below VWAP, but now they are getting squeezed. And see this uh, this consolidation. This is a very good signal. See this bullish move, uh, big volume. Then this consolidation, low volume. That's why I entered long here with the stop loss below VWAP and I started covering all the way up here. But I saw that it, where is the 200 SMA? Uh, there was 200 SMA here. It just rem got removed. There's an issue with DAS uh, mapping. So yeah, uh, so when I was trading this stock, I don't know where that is now. The 200 SMA on the one was here, like here. So it held the 200 SMA uh, one times, two times. I added to my position because I could see a uh, uh, stack stacking up above the 200 SMA on the one. So I added more to my position, but just make sure, just to be sure that I changed my stop loss to break even. So I covered, I think, 50-60% of my position here. So I'm not willing to lose my profits uh, that I got on these partials. So I added, I added more. I changed my stop loss to break even. I covered some of my position and I got stopped out to break even. It looks like a Christmas tree. It's not my typical style of trading, but I don't know how why I did that. I just did and I got out green. So yeah. Uh, my second trade was on T again, so short. So T was gapping down on the daily. So if you see a short squeeze trade, normally it does like this. It squeezes up, it consolidates. It squeezes up, it consolidates. It squeezes up, it consolidates. But this, it made a double top, see, on the one, and then it broke down below VWAP. So that's why I took it short below VWAP. If you look at the one minute again, and the five minutes was also making high, uh, lower highs and lower lows. So I entered short with the stop loss if the... EMS on the one break and I started covering all the way here. I was fortunate enough to get a wick partial here and then I got stopped out to the penny. So my entry was 37.35. I got stopped out to the penny because I had a hard stop in the market that is break even. And the market is obviously there to get me. That's how I feel personally. That's how every trader feels when they get stopped out to the penny. So then I saw that, so when I was in this trade, I could see a huge buyer at the 37.2 level and that, that buyer was not going away. So then at when that, uh, when the stock came back to that level, I could not see that huge buyer. There were like 80, 90, so that means 8,000 shares, but earlier it was maybe 20,000 shares or something like that. So the buyer is going down, right? And I saw this wedge forming at that 37.2 level. That's what decided to go short here. And my risk was only a couple of cents at this time. So my entry was 37.21, if I'm not wrong. And my risk was 37.25. And then I covered all the way down to this level. And I want to see if that this 36.72 level um, breaks. Uh, because I covered most of my position too early, I took like 10, 10% partial, 25% partial here. 
uh, this is because like it's my fault because if the bre uh, if the wedge breaks uh, there is not nothing stopping this stock to go lower but because the uh, the ATR is very low that's why I started co started covering early I was not expecting T to move this much uh, especially because of the ATR and it's a big cap stock. So these are my trades for the day. I'm still holding some of my tea uh, to, to see if this breaks the 36.72 level. So I have these two levels from the daily chart. This 36.72 and 36.55. I will see if this breaks because the 5 minutes is still holding the 9 EMA. So it can just trend lower. Let's see what happens. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And make sure that you follow this channel for more recaps from me and other traders and members.